Simplicity and sentimental value started this concept of a cabin call, and Perdo was started to be as a Mother's Day present. For my mother was restoring cabinets that she found at the time and decided that she would learn to paint by restoring them. When Mother's Day came around, I still needed a gift, so I spent the day constructing, fitting wood, and painting a uh, inverted frame to create a miniature cabinet presented like a painting. So I painted the cabinet green because that was her favorite color, and using a variety of symbolic red objects, I glued in items that reflected my mother's personality. The oriental vases represented her respect for the arts and the wine for art events. The elephant was her favorite animal, and detailed beads around it gave more of an atmosphere of delicate artifacts that you would see in like a display cabinet. Above, I continued a theme of red, white, and metallic and semi-transparent objects. The shelf with the four different kinds of dice displayed a sense of variety, while things like the wine cart were more for class and the radio was for a sense of fun. After coining the phrase cabinet column to describe this art style, I aimed to construct a taller cabinet onto a narrow panel of wood which I had been reluctant to use. This violet cabinet would ultimately become amethyst. Yet even with the tall cabinet in place, the back panel's height left an empty amount of space beneath the cabinet. So I inserted a new feature that I called a medallion panel and this had a white piece of marble at its center to act sort of like a footer for the full art piece. Working up the cabinet's four-story structure, it was itemized with a focus of orange and blue objects along with some metallic yellow ones as well. And this ranged from orbs, toy soldiers, books, and a display of reflective silver plates to reflect light, and this was to allure viewers' curiosity into the cabinet. At the top of the cabinet, behind the tall door, I placed a gold lion standing on a blue globe representing the world, thus crowning the cabinet with a watchful guardian similar to the statues that you'd see on the historical uh, Trajan Column or the Column of Marcus Aurelius. So the last of the first Cabinet Column series was Heliodor, a golden cabinet with a regal toned background of burgundy reds, luminous rays of orange, and dark violet. I again felt the need to use the medallion panel approach again, so I mounted a clear pendant with an etching of the god Triton inside it. The cabinet itself was lined with darker objects to complement objects that were tinted green and bright orange. This cabinet seemed to focus more on tools, and the counter in the center of the cabinet column was made into a workspace for sewing materials but the cabinet also has a variety of hardware materials and gardening tools as well. The brighter, more cheerful objects placed in an already bright colored cabinet was done to balance out the darker background. This created a distinctive contrast of inner vitality against its serious surrounding ambience. This theme of itemizing would become key to circulating color through all the cabinets I continued to make. Even though the later cabinet forms have evolved, the first cabinet columns will always have their place as the pillars holding up the fundamental principles for creating new and unique cabinet columns. Like the interior respective paintings, this art series started from a humble concept, but it has continued to develop into a more elaborate form of assemblage art.